Ghana and Nairobi. Leti Arts is creating a series of interactive games and comics based on African history and folklore brought into the 21st century reality. We are rewriting African history in what we do. What is missing in Africa is the gaming industry and Leti Arts mission is to start and stick to gaming and enable all these other industries to join. Five years ago or six years ago we started, we were almost the only ones in Sub-Saharan Africa building this. Now we have game companies in Nigeria, Kenya, Cameroon, Uganda. Not only are we building a business, but we are building a whole new industry. What inspired me to do this was as a child, I've been very much obsessed with video games and comics. So I grew up with Marvel comics and DC comics, Superman, Batman, Thor. I was in love with all those characters and got me thinking, why can't we represent our heritage that could be represented in this light? That will be inspiring for African kids of today to read genuinely about their heritage. Once when the skies were not as peaceful. One could hear nothing but heavy storms of God's battling for power and supremacy. A great traitor resurfaced in his full strength, trying to overcome the king of the skies, Odomankuma. Anansi, the origin. We've had a lot of global exposure. We have people consuming our content all over. We were nominated for the MTV Mama Awards in the Transform Today category 2014. We won the Vodafone App Star in India. We've been to the US, of course, uh, Sil uh, Silicon Valley, San Francisco, GDC. We've, we've given talks there. And this shows how new and original this idea is and we are really inspired to just keep going. I'm always watching new cool characters and superpowers in the DC and Marvel universe and just thinking when Africa's legend is going to meet Batman and, and beat him to the, to the core. <laughs> If I have to be a superhuman superhero, I would love to be Superman. If I want to be a man, Iron Man. I just don't want to die early and it will take time to kill all those two characters. So I don't, I'm not easily killed. One advice I always give people is to focus on passion, to be richer in passion than in money. Money will come and go, and my investor always tells me to focus on focus. Focus on one thing that you truly believe would work, and keep on working at that, and definitely you are going to see results. So this is Ariel Ontario from Letty Arts in Ghana, and you are now watching Africology.